Hey what's going on guys Tan by Afa Simple Snippets and welcome back to a new video tutorial on core java programming and today's topic is going to be custom exceptions in java programming so this is sort of like the part 4 of exception handling under core java programming so we've been talking about exception handling since the past 3 videos in this entire core java programming playlist so if you're new on this channel and if you are not acquainted with the concept of exceptions make sure you watch this or watch the previous two three videos in this playlist what i'll do is i'll just link the entire playlist in the video description and you can go through the previous videos in this playlist so this is like the part 4 in part 1 we just took a definition of what is exceptions in java in part 2 we saw the try catch and finally keyword in part 3 we saw the difference between throw and throws and now part 4 we're talking about custom exceptions so this is going to be a quick short video because it's not a huge concept So with that being said let's start off with today's topic that is custom exceptions in java programming so open up this link i'll drop the link of this website in the video description this is our official website that is simple snippets and you can go under the courses under the core java programming and you'll find a custom exception link or you can directly go to this article by clicking the link in the video description and once you're on this page we'll just take a little look about the theory of custom exceptions so let me just zoom in So if you're creating your own exceptions that is known as custom exceptions or user defined exceptions. So now in Java we have the functionality or facility to create our own exceptions. Now we've already talked about why we need exceptions and what are exceptions and how they work. But let's say you have a very specific program wherein the type of exception is going to be something which is not yet defined, okay? So Java has a limited set of exceptions. But let's say you are making a program which is going to validate a user based on his age so if he is under age he is not able to vote and if he is above 18 he is allowed to vote right so in that case what you want is you want a custom exception to be thrown that if the age is under 18 then that exception should be thrown and the exception should be having a message saying you are under age or you are not allowed to vote so this kind of feature is not predefined in java right we do not have a custom exception which is Uh, which is sort of like invalid age exception we do not have that so in that case we have to make our own exception and we can make that by using inheritance and we can inherit the class exception into our custom exception class okay so that's what is written over here in the theory if you are creating your own exception that is known as custom exception or user defined exception java custom exceptions are used to customize the exception according to user's need and java provides us facility to create our own exceptions which are basically derived classes So this is what I was talking about. They are derived classes, which means we are going to perform inheritance. And we've also talked about inheritance in this entire playlist. So if you don't know what inheritance is, you can check those videos also in this entire playlist. So how do we go about creating your own exception class? So the first thing is you need to create a class whose name should end with some exception. You know that's the convention being followed. For example, the class name. So this is going to be your custom class name, and then followed by an exception word. So this is the convention to differentiate an exception class. then you need to make the class extend one of the exceptions which are sub type of java dot lang dot exception class so generally a custom exception class always extends directly from exception class but you can also extend from the sub types of exception you know you can you can say your custom exception extends null pointer exception or something like that but that is not conventionally done we only directly inherit from the main exception class then lastly you can create a constructor with a string parameter which in which the detail message is going to be thrown okay so this would be more clear when we see the program example so here is the program example so class invalid age, age exception so this is our user defined class and then we are saying extends exception and then in that we have a parameterized constructor which takes a string you can see a string value as string s and then we are calling the constructor of the super class that is we are calling the constructor of the exception class so we also talked about the super keyword in detail in this playlist so i hope you know how to use the super keyword here we are using the super keyword along with the opening and closing parentheses to call the parameterized constructor of the parent class that is the super class which is exception so finally in our main class which has the static void main method we are creating a static method void validate in that we are saying if age is less than 18 then we are saying throw new invalid age exception and with that we are passing the message not valid this message can be anything and else we are saying welcome to vote so this is a very simple program what we'll do is we'll directly jump to the programming part and let's try to type it out because reading programs is not going to help you with your practice of programming the best way to practice programming is to type it out yourself and 
also try not to copy from this entire website so this code is just for reference purpose i would recommend that if you are a beginner you should type your code yourself first time and then later on you can add things by copy and pasting so yes let's start off with netbeans id okay so as you can see on the screen i have started my netbeans id and i have started with a new project even you can start your netbeans id and type along with me so what you're going to do is we're going to create our custom class we're going to say class invalid exception invalid age exception so and we're going to say extends the exception class inside this we are going to create a parameterized constructor which will have a string and then we are going to call super and pass this now it's not compulsory to call this super i'll tell you how how it goes so let's just first complete the program now in our java application 4 class which has the static void main method we are going to create a static method we are going to say static void validate we are going to pass an integer variable age in the body of this method we are going to say if age less than 18 then we are going to say throw new invalid age exception and for the string we are going to pass age less than 18 you cannot vote okay and else we are going to say system dot out dot print ln welcome to vote or welcome to voting so i missed out a semicolon over here so that's why it's throwing an error and also one more thing that we have to do is we have to tell the program that this method is going to throw an exception because here we are not performing try catch right so the try catch block is going to be in some other method which is going to be in the main method right when we are calling validate it will be inside try catch right but right now we do not have try catch that's why it's saying that unreported exception invalid age exception must be caught or declared to be thrown so remember in the previous video of throw and throws we said we when we want to declare that one of our method is going to throw an exception we use the throws keyword so along with the method we are going to say throws and we are going to say invalid exception so now the error is gone right so this method validate what we are saying the program is going to throw an invalid exception and the handling that is the try catch block is supposed to be in some other method so that's why we use throws over here okay and this throw is to create an exception so since all exceptions in java are basically objects we say throw and then new so new is used to instantiate that object and to create that exception object with this string as message so this constructor will be called so when you are creating a new object the parameterized constructor is called and inside that we are calling the super which is constructor of exception class so exception is the super class right so this exception already has a constructor which is parameterized which takes one string so that's why we are directly calling super okay so everything seems fine now we have our invalid age exception over here we have the class java application 4 which has the main method over here public static void main so inside this main what we are going to do is we are going to say try and inside the try block we are going to say validate and we are going to pass 16 okay and then we are going to say catch i'm going to say exception e and i'm going to say system dot out dot print ln exception occurred and i'm just going to append e dot message get message okay so this get message is basically just going to print out this string okay so when you are passing this string there is a variable or there is a instance variable inside the exception class which is set with this value that is this string okay so there is a string instance variable inside the exception class which gets this value s and this s is going to be age less than 18 you cannot vote so since age is 16 an exception is going to be thrown right so let's try to run this and there you go you can see exception occurred and this age less than 18 you cannot vote is this string now if i see validate 19 everything is going to be fine and this if block is not going to be executed because age is greater than 18 so the else block is going to be executed if i run this there you go welcome to voting 
so this is a very basic example of custom exceptions and custom exceptions are mainly needed when your program requires certain specific exception which is not defined which is not predefined in java okay so there are many such cases but this was a very simple one which we just saw in terms of programming part and practical part so that's it for this video guys check out the article on the website there are a lot of other articles also on the website and you can copy the code you can copy the theory if you're preparing your answers and that's it for this video guys i hope you like this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments that you like this video i would be happy to read your feedback and if you're new on this channel guys subscribe and share it with your friends and i'll talk to you guys in the next video tutorial peace